Hi, this is Porter Thorndike with Information Builders, and I'm going to take you through a demonstration of how we support a centralized BI provisioning use case and show you all of the great ways we can operationalize insight that comes from the business. This is going to be experienced by an executive, the vice president of sales. Throughout this demonstration, you're going to see all of the ways the portal is so much better than a dashboard. The first way is that all of the information on this page can be presented from multiple sources without single sourcing the data first. The portal is going to be very fast and interactive. I can slice it and dice it and filter it by different regions or different reps. The portal supports collaboration. I might have content created and shared with me by other people, like an analyst, and it supports customization. I can use that content to customize my view. It's going to be optimized for use on mobile devices. We do this with responsive web design. You build the page and the portal once, and that same site is optimized for use on a phone or a tablet or any screen width. And responsive web design does this by accounting for layout and sizing and menu and navigation changes. And if I'm looking at this on my tablet, it's been flexible about the layout, switching to two column in some cases, one column in another, always making sure it fills the width. It accounts for the parameters as well. And if I'm looking at this on my phone, it's gonna change that layout and sizing again. Stack the parameters, switch to a one column layout. Our portal provides responsive web design optimized page templates. You just use the templates and it's gonna look great on any screen with their mobile device. Another page that an executive would be interested in is rankings. And the first one that I look at is churn risks. These are sales reps that we've identified as a churn risk through our capabilities in predictive analytics. We will enable citizen data scientists and anyone with strong familiarity with the data to graphically build a predictive model that generates our code. We'll take input variables in this case of things like historical sales performance and their quota and years of service and their location and allow them to graphically build a model that generates the most popular models, like in this case, decision tree or regression. It allows you to then publish that model to a non-technical person like an executive. And this is an example of embedding advanced analytics into a business process. We see a prescription of consult or terminate. For those with consult, I would want more information. A great way to get more information is drill down. One of the ways we support drill down is a custom list that is identified automatically by our software. It will look at sales rep and identify all of the assets that are related to sales rep and present them automatically. And so I could take a look at Denise's forecast and I see that it's strong and I could take a look at her historical performance and see that she's hit her quota the last 13 quarters. And I could ask myself, what deals does she have that are about to close? And I notice that she has a couple that are about to close. So Denise is a strong rep. She probably fits the profile of a churn risk because we've had strong performers leave for more money in the past. I wanna be proactive and keep a rep like this. And a great way to do this is by engaging her area vice president and asking them to set up a face-to-face -face call and check with me. And we can do this with our collaboration panel that can be activated on any page or piece of content. This is an example of collaboration in social BI. We also support that traditional drill down, which is auto drill. I take a look at my forecast, the east is low. I'm interested in which branches comprise that low forecast and which reps comprise that low forecast. And I have a breadcrumb that gets built right here that shows me what I've selected and allow me to navigate. These two pages are great. What they don't give me is insight into my, uh, my existing customers. And can I create my own page? This is where the page templates come in really handy. I can select a page template that's good for me, and I can use the existing assets that are published to me or created and shared with me to create my own dashboard. And I know that Days Since Last Contact is a great visualization that's available that plots every one of our existing customers vertically by sales and horizontally by Days Since Last Contact, and it shows me those customers in the upper right are ones that we need to get in touch with. 
And I've also got another report that shows me all of the deals in the pipeline with our existing customers. So I've really quickly created my own page that can address any questions I have about existing customers. Now, there's still invariably going to be questions that aren't answered by any existing pages or new pages that I could create. How do I get those answers? Do I call up my analyst? Do I have to learn the self-service analytics tool? We think there's a better way, and that better way is an info app. An info app is a highly interactive analytical app for non-technical users. It's purpose-built to solve specific use cases. Expedia and Google Maps are two great examples of an info app experience. It can be used by non-technical users, yet it's very flexible. And one of the reasons it's very flexible is because we can parameterize anything. Beyond filters, we're talking about, in this case, sort fields and measures and drill downs and output formats. And to illustrate this, I'm going to answer two questions that the executive has. They are going to Boston on a sales call. They would want to know who are my best customers in Boston. And I can get the answer to that question by creating a report of customers, revenue. Let's look at this across a four-year time period, applying the filter to Boston, and I'll select the active format, also known as it document analytics which is portable and embeds the data into the content with interactive controls. So I can be on the way to the airport. This can be on my tablet. I can still interact with it. And I can see that CNS Wholesale Grocers and General Electric are my best customers in Boston. I'll be sure to visit them while I'm in town. Now from Boston, I'm getting on a flight to Los Angeles. I'm going to the mid-market CIO forum where we win best mid-market solution every year. I need a totally different report, a report of my best mid-market contacts. I can network them with our prospects. I can set up meetings. So I'm going to create that report, which is a list of customers and contact information. Who is our contact? Who are the executives that are going to be at that show? Let's apply the filter of mid-market. And in a couple of clicks, I have that answer to my question. I can confidently get on the road now with the answer to all of my questions. So in this demonstration, you've seen how we support the centralized BI provisioning use cases. Now we can operationalize insight that comes from the business using things like our portal and info apps.